We'll take a look at the UMBC starters. There's, of course, Tasia Oliver and Jania Summers, but somebody needs to step up here, somebody else. Yeah, who's going to be that third player to put them over the hump? Could it be Lyric Swan coming through and getting to the back end of her freshman season? Maybe a Lucretia Costa inside, the senior. Maybe we'll show some leadership here today. And here is Hartford starting five. There's Jada Lucas, their leading scorer, two points away from 300 in her career. Yeah, yeah the junior really makes things happen offensively for uh, for Hartford. She's been in double figures in all five America East games. And the junior, she's got the seniority on this team and the starting lineup. We'll see what she can do here this morning. Well, uh, you can kind of see them on your screen, folks. A lot of the kids, uh, it's kind of a field trip day for them. Get a come down here to the UMBC Event Center and root on the Retrievers. It is loud, so uh, Paul, you and I are gonna have a little difficulty hearing each other, but uh, we'll be all right today. That's okay. We're gonna hear a lot of screaming kids throughout the game today, but that's a good thing. It's a great atmosphere here uh, for UMBC. Hartford in the red, going from right to left to start this first quarter. UMBC in the home white. And there's Paula Rubio with her first start since the game against Syracuse early in this season. Lucas on the drive, looks through, sees parted, lays it in. A nice pick there. No one switched for UMBC. Lucas just goes right down the lane and lays it up and in. UMBC will try with their first offensive possession here. They'll look for different options for sure in this game. Here is Lyric Swan. Averaging just over seven points per game. Oliver, the jumper, it's good. Well, almost the same exact play, just a little bit further out for Oliver as she rolls around the pick, gets open from about the elbow and knocks it down. And Morgan Valley told me before this game that's their number one target, obviously, is going to be Tasia Oliver. She already has two points. It's a missed jumper by Lucas. It'll go the other way for Tasia Oliver. Summers was asking for it. Swan short corner, just a little short. Brought down by the freshman Carmen Villalobos. Off it goes again. Good run beneath. And a couple of points for Azaria Way. It's a nice finish. And she had some soft hands there, catching a very tough pass in the post. It was able to, all in one motion, kind of kiss it off the glass softly and get the roll. Azaria Way with her third straight start. Three pointer on the way. Little short. There is Wade with the rebound. We'll go the other way, 90 seconds in. Thought about it. We'll get it inside the way. Batted away by Lucrezia Costa. And it should stay here. We'll take a look. There is Janetta Hayes in her first season with UMBC. And of course, still looking for her first conference win. Yeah, she's been close. Uh, retrievers uh, trying to build the program back up. And you know, when you're starting over again, it's, uh, it's a challenge. Swinging around, Via Lobos from three. Oh, hits way off the backboard. Brought down by Lyric Swan, keeps her head up. Summers was ahead of things, but she'll slow it up. And it's taken away by Jada Lucas. And it's two on one going the other way. Lucas will keep it herself. Couldn't finish. Everything great there except for the finish. I love the defensive play by Lucas. She reached her hand in and got the steal. But then on the other end, nice job by Oliver to force a tough layup. Oliver goes in, she's fouled. She will head to the line. I mean, oh, look at this. Look at this, Christian. You know, you love the scores. Watch this. He goes with the left hand off the bump to get the ball up off the glass. Doesn't finish, but at least gave herself a chance there. Wasn't too far away, though, was it? Oliver, a 74% free throw shooter. Her final season with UMBC. Sinks the first. Headed towards 1,100 points. 10.93 now with the bucket and the free throw here to start the day. Not to mention, too, 17th in the nation in scoring 20 points per game. And you can't miss her today. She's got the lime green shoes on. That's right. That's right. That's well, 4-4. Four, four. Oliver has all four points for the Retrievers. Just over two minutes into this one. There's a cross court, it's McLemore. Thought about it, guarded by Summers, gets right past her, kick to the corner, three ball on the way, no good, a little short. Uh, good help defense by Costa to close down the lane, force the three-pointer, and then she comes back and gets the rebound as well. Lovely move for Oliver. She has all six. Instant offense, man, instant <laughs> offense. I love the tempo right now for UMBC offensively, getting the ball up the court and getting some stuff in transition. Kayla Gothard. 
Mishandled to Wade. Oliver waiting for her teammates to catch up to her, and they'll run some offense. Yeah, smart play by Oliver there. She could have tried to go one on two. Instead, pulls it back and wins the possession for UMBC. They'll settle offensively in the half court. Hartford averaged 20 turnovers a game. You get a hold here underneath. There is Morgan Valley in her first season, replacing Kim McNeil, who is now at East Carolina. There are three and 14 this year. Of course, Morgan Valley, her early basketball career played under Gino Ariema at UConn, won three national championships. Underneath for Costa. It's 8-4. Well, good take by Lucretia there along the baseline, able to find a little opening and knock it down. A little short for McLemore. She is 32% from distance, loses it there. It's a good pickup in the corner by Lyric Swan. We talk about Oliver's offense, but that was a great defensive play to get the hand in there and get the steal. Rubio on the offense here. This is a 6-0 run for the Retrievers. Swan. Stops at the free throw line. Summers. Oh, good hustle. Travel. What? Wow. Good hustle there by Zendaya to get the rebound. Thought there was going to be an end one there. Instead, they call it travel. Here it is again one more time. Swan will miss this first. We'll look the left side of your screen. And Summers will come on in. Coming from the other side. I mean, it could have gone either way. I guess you could say that she still had that first foot down when she caught the ball, but it was awful close. Three-minute scoring drought for Hartford as Laurencia Moten checks in from Bowie, Maryland. Here's Lucas on the drive, puts one up, still too heavy. Hot in by Skrotska, and Rubio will try and break. Tasia Oliver will take a breather for a moment. Jen Gast has also come in for wait, the Retrievers. Wait, Tasia allowed to, she's allowed to come out of the game? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, seriously. That's six of the eight. Three-pointer on the way, Skrotska, no good. Bouncing away, saved by Moten. Go the other way. Hartford is just one of their last eight from the field. Underneath, McLemore was swatted. Yeah, Jen Gass got a hand on that one. Gonna jump ball on the tie-up. Session goes over to UMBC. That wasn't that long of a break for that's, Oliver. That's a, quick said. that's a quick breather, yeah. <laughs> Get a little water, you know, sit down for a second, then you're back in. Here's the block again. Jen Gass. Uh, nice play. Jen twice now, two straight possessions. She uh, did a nice job on the defensive glass. Possession before that, she didn't get the rebound, but she kept it alive for her teammate. And there she gets the block on the next time down the floor. There's Hartford adding a little bit of pressure. They showed it at times against the Catamounts this recent weekend. Swinging it around to Oliver, thought about the three. You know she'll take it. Step back there. Little off. Was saved, but Gast is there. Tried to play strong, and a couple red shirts around her prevented her from scoring. Jen that time just got herself too far under the basket. Had no angle to shoot at the rim. Real Lobos on the good dish to Moten. Travel. Now Hartford still at their four points. But we will step aside here with our media timeout. It is UMBC 8, Hartford 4 on ESPN Plus. <laughs> 